I think there's something in the water in, in Chicago with the Windy City Mafia that either makes you stupid, makes you disloyal, and I don't know, kind of a weirdo for never thinking for yourself. And I'm wondering, like, what, what's it all about? What about the rivalry between New York and Chicago? We have liftoff. I think that that final episode, like a lot of things were said, I didn't realize that New York felt a certain type of way about Chicago. I don't have any ill will against New York at all, but when the whole Windy City Mafia thing got brought up, I thought that was kind of funny because like we, I was teaming up with Rico and Che and Jerry. Rico's not Chicago at all. Maybe they have a beef with us, but as far as I know, like I don't sit around thinking like, fuck New York. It's not like East Coast, West Coast, or Blood, Blood's Crips. I don't think there was a Windy City Mafia that ever existed, but now that there is one, I guess we gotta be the Windy City Mafia, which is a pretty badass nickname. Who are you expecting to win tonight? Will Compton. Will Compton. Will Compton, easily. Uh, there's some people who got some anger, which is weird because the Windy City guy didn't, like Will's a Nashville guy. I was voted out first, Hank was voted out third. If we're a mafia, we're not a very strong mafia. I voted for Will, played the best game. That's as simple as that. Unless something, you know, insane has happened, your boy Will Compton's going home with that 100K. I think had had the jury stayed out of it, it could have been a different situation. Will probably would have won even if he didn't have the best resume. On top of those two, Will having the best resume, it's a rock. Listen, everybody knows who the real winner is. It's Will. And we know, we, we, we know that already. We've established that there's no way the jury's gonna vote for me. We'll do a nice show, get out of here, go play COD. That's all I'm really worried about today, because I know I ain't winning 100 grand. I'm just gonna go home and play some meat all night. I would, I would bet my life savings that will count them. There was nobody that I want to win besides myself. Let's make that clear. I was not like, oh, if I don't win, I hope this person wins. If I don't win, I don't give a fuck who wins. In my mind, Will Compton played the best game of these three people there. He deserves to win. Oh, uh, Will. You think so? He dominated challenges, played a good social game. It's Will. He, he played He played really well. Now, Will is going to win 1,000% guaranteed block of the century. Not, no doubt in my mind. I could I have see what's broke up. up. The man. There he is. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good, bro. I feel 100% confident. I'm fat. Big fat fuck. It's been three weeks of this. Everyone's been talking about it every day for three weeks. I think everyone's kind of come in with like a, let's get this over with mindset. I have no idea which way it's gonna go. It could be brutal, it could be like a fucking slap and tickle fest. I don't know what everybody's mood is right now, so we'll see. I hope it's ugly. No, I said, well, I voted for well. I said you today. played the best game. Dave and Kirk made a pact that their whole people. voting we blocks. People. We have blocks. Uh, they all knew that. This thing was done. Yeah, it was done. Will is a genius. He knew that there was like no you way. You might have won if you got there. You might have had a chance. <laughs> oh, I think I would have won. No, if you brought up against Jerry, you would have won. Oh, Jerry had a 0% chance. Oh, yeah, would be Everyone in the room knew for a day and a half that it was like yeah, Che and Jerry were fucked. Will knew that like no one was voting for Jerry and Che. People are saying that I somehow masterminded Jerry to get to the finish line when they're just taking credit away from Will, realizing that Jerry and Jay were fucked. Great. People are like, you stole our money for a charity case. I'm like, okay, we'll see. It's gonna be great. What a sweater. Thank you. All the fashionable people are saying it's nice. It's what? such you a never, nice you never got This is not a bad outfit. Yeah. And, and then you never got we got voted. the Survivor socks. Yeah, yeah, he's got like that guy. much chest showing and no hair. There's not a single like, chest hair on my body. My pit hair, I got ball hair. It's Des Bryant. He wants, he wants to beat me up. He wants to fight me and Stephen A. Smith. Wait, who? Des Bryant. Des Bryant? He wants to beat me and Stephen A. Smith. Up. Yeah. Like you guys, you guys at the same time? You yeah, that's the only thing you... I really want to get in a boxing ring with Stan A. Still press. Folks like them talk the way they do because they know they can't get touched, but I wish they would agree to get in the ring with you me so I got to unleash bro, my bro, frustration. Bro, I can beat the yeah. shit out of them without going to jail. I need that blessing. No, he just out What's in response to you? Nothing. How do you think this is going to go? I got one. I, I don't know if I'll get yeah. heated. There's a lot of time in between everything, so you cool down a little bit. No, you got anything you want to get off your chest? Getting ready for work in the no, I got it all off my chest. The Gerard Awakening. So it's in your entire jersey, Gerard shtick. Exactly that, a shtick. Yeah. And that's my awakening. If you pick up a starving dog and make him prosperous, he will not bite you. That is the difference between a dog and a drug addict. Cool. But we made up like a second after the show. I mean, I still think he's a fezbian. The winner of Surviving Bars till season three, Will Compton.
$100,000. Back in the day, look where you started. You gotta entertain, you gotta make people laugh, you gotta turn it up a little bit sometimes. You never turn it up a little bit sometimes? Davy Bottles. You play it up a little bit for cameras and stuff no. like that. That's that's a lie. Well, no, you turn it up. You got it, you got it. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't stick it. You ne you've never turned it up a little bit. Well, of course you turn it up. Like, I wouldn't get dragged out of the Super Bowl if I was, I wouldn't go protest Goodell if it wasn't like doing Barstool. I wouldn't do that just as a normal human. Yeah, of course, exactly. That wasn't scripted, listen, though. No, listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with everything how it went. Are you saying you didn't sleep? I mean, I did sleep. But I thought that these people, oh, you're so mean. You're making fun of a meth head and all that. It's like, shut up. That, I, that I can eat. I don't give a fuck. I'm sure you, 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 you just kept poking. 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 No, no, no listen. What I, did you think I was going to do? Just let you, me, take off. Hundred grand out of my own pocket. No, pure gold, Jerry. I'm changing. This is. Uh, I'm going. I called team meeting station. It's about a change. I what? Got, I got. You're not gonna get the same guy. Yeah, I <laughs> what, what are we gonna get? I got team meeting at one o'clock. I'm like, guys, they don't like it. They can, they can leave the show. They can go somewhere else. Go find a different show. Stuff what, doesn't change. What? Stuff stuff's changing. But what? A lot of things. A lot of like chillops. A lot of just. You know. But you, here's what changed me. I perceived you see me as a mark. I had to. No, in life. No. Yes. Life. Yeah. Okay, I like yeah. But you're saying I never check up on any date. What's going on? How you doing? How's everything? Give me butter, like a Christmas ham. Butter, no. What did Tom, Tom tell you yesterday? He told me to get headphones yesterday at like five o'clock. Boom, Amazon, bang, done. Need the headphones, you got a Dropbox yet? Yeah? I've got a Dropbox, yeah. Okay, good. It's little things, little yeah. things, make a big difference. Yeah. Need the headphones, Amazon them. I actually got an extra pair I can give you. <laughs> so we have to do a three point contest for an uh, uh, ad video. And we were saying who's gonna be in the video. And we're like, Big T, he's really good at three pointers. And Hank like went, <laughs> Big T? And then Sue so said, all right, let's go. Right now, Hank versus Big T. PFT and I are both bet Hank $500, so Hank can win a thousand bucks. If Big T wins, we get a thousand from Hank. We're gonna give Big T half of it. I've never seen him scoff at the idea yeah. that some. Well, that Big I scoffed. This is what I scoffed. Big Hank goes, well, we shouldn't put him in because he'll win too easily. And I was like, you yeah. don't think he's? Do you think he's gonna be me? They're like, oh yeah, no doubt. No, that's not what happened at all. We said, you go, we shouldn't <laughs> no, put Big shut, T in it because he'll win it too You had easily. your turn to talk. Hank goes, but like, I would I'm crush Big T. And then he laughed at Big T. We're like, okay, let's do it right now. I'm on Team Big T. I'm not. I'm not caught at all. I bet Hank $500. My boy Wig T's wicked smile with his jump. Back. No, you were not saying Wig T is not wet. No, you were you were hating. You were being a hater. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying you're very, being very no disrespectful of Wig T. You literally said I'm in the competition to go. We should put Big T in because it'll win too easily. That's a shot at me. Oh yeah, Big T in a route. All right, so one point. It's four shots in each spot, and then the money ball. Yep. Three, two, one, go. In a route. In a route. All right. Two. Oh. In a route. Big T, they said in a route. 30 seconds. In a route. Here we go. A route. Hard is just on a route. You said a route. Five. Seconds. Seven. Eight. Fuck. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. eight. Oh. We now have a situation where Hank literally cannot fuck this up at all. Like it's just been put on a platter for him. Um, damn. Bro, I told him quit, quit Damn. talking it up. Yeah. I mean, there's no telling with Hank, but that was bad. Oh, I, I, hope he, I hope he fucks this up. Yeah. That would be so great. I can shoot the ball. We'll see. Good luck, Hank. Two, one, go. Wow. One. one. Oh, <laughs> 
as it gets. Sounds as bad as it gets. I wasn't even close. After Big T hit eight points, what was going through your mind? Uh, this is no doubt easy win. Eight points should be not a problem. I was thinking like I, I could get it done the first two racks. Yeah. That was what was going through my mind. So when did you realize you were in trouble? Once Jake started... Uh, it was just him giving my money back to me. Told me the time was an issue. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was watching too. Yeah, everyone. Had the yeah. And now on. more people are going to watch. What did you think you were going to get? I mean, I thought 10 would be easy. Like once I saw him get eight, that almost made me like not even worry about it. Fucking A, dude. Happy holidays from Chevy Drive Chicago and me, White Sox Dave. I'm here to talk to you about Chevy Drive Chicago and the new fleet, the Equinox, the Suburban, the Trailblazer. They got it all. You got to do is head over to ChevyDriveChicago.com. Pop in that zip code in the search function and they will help you out. You can also get your oil changed, those tires rotated, the brakes service, anything that you need done to service your car, head over to ChevyDriveChicago.com and they'll take care of you. Have a happy holiday season. Hey, hey. yo, that video. Yeah. Like I can't do a tape delay if we're going live tomorrow. Who's who's questioning it? I thought there was like a 90 second tape delay. Uh, ambitious. Yeah, I guess excited is the is a way to put it. Are you a suit or are you just like I'm uh, bad. proper? No, it's bad. That, that's uh, how do we not have a <laughs> dump on you? Like, yeah, I don't know how we didn't have that. Do you see that? Bit? It's crazy. What's that? There was a whole video made about them joking and having a time in their life. That wasn't joking, that was an honest I feel bad, he was like, if we do a dump button, we can't do this then. It's all right, trust Mincy, that was a mistake. It is, it is hilarious though, I'll say that. Yeah, I mean, he made it pretty damn clear. I don't even think I really need to ask him. I mean, he said, anytime I get asked to do stuff, I have to ask, is there a dump button or live? All right, or. Is this Mincy? Downstairs. 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 This is not a drill. Not my fault. I did not this is not a drill. I just want to get this clear. This was not me who did that. This is not a drill. I wish I was kidding. I mean, it is a drill. It's not a drill. It's just a drill. We got to get outside now. This is not a drill. That was an annoying noise. I mean, it happened at the same time I ran the pump. And the pump on the Who in a right mind pulled the pull station? I mean, the first time it probably went off because of me. But once they heard it, they I just don't know who in the right mind would have pulled the pull station in this building. They're gonna get spanked. The elevator down? No. <laughs> yeah, I tried to reset it. That's why they're here. Should I just get in front of it? For, I tried to reset it when we were coming down. Oh, you pulled this? Oh, yeah, you hit it? Okay, it's not a reset. That's an anchor. That's a pull. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I was also trying to get everyone out of the building for what it's worth. So I'll have to yeah. delete all this footage. <laughs> yeah, I pulled the fire alarm and I would do it again, okay? It was in the name of safety. But can I talk to you about something that's in the name of hydration? It's body armor and it's the sponsor of this episode of Viva TV. They're the best hydration drink for a lot of reasons. They've got some of the best flavors. They've got orange mango, strawberry banana, my personal favorite, the cherry. Line. Did I mention some of your favorite athletes or body armor athletes? Christian McCaffrey, CD Lamb, Joe Burrow. There's a reason they're rocking with body armor. It's the best. Try one for yourself. You actually pulled it? <laughs> to fuck with everybody, you're bored? She was already going off. I tried to reset it. Once you pull it down, it locks out so you Sir. can't push it back up. Sir, you are much smarter than to know that if you pull a yeah, fire alarm, you can't unpull a fire alarm. I've never pulled one before, but now I can check that box. If I could do it all over again, I'm glad for what I did. So I got you, everyone safely out of here without using the elevator, and that was also documented. It was, so it was. So if you're gonna show my low lights, you best show the highlights too. Was. I saved a <laughs> tremendous amount of life. Many people are saying I'm up for the Walton pa Walter Payton Man of the Year award after my performance today. Hey, 
They were, and I'm partially responsible. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sure that this is like a suspension, but it's not, it's not forever. 